Yeah. A new earth. It's coming. Or I should say it's here. Everybody watching, I'm sure you know how this works. You know, manifesting, how that works. At least good enough to know that it's always the energy first, isn't it? Anybody that's ever had like an intuitive experience or a telepathic one, you always feel it inside first. You feel the energy, and that's a beautiful thing. When you're fully alive and fully in your true highest self, you are part energetic being. And I'm telling you guys, the energy, it's done. It's done. It's happening. That's what I mean when I say it's done. Not it's over, but it's going on. It, it's happening. It's here. It's done. <clears throat> it's done. And that can only mean one thing. Physical reality is going to match very soon. Physical reality. And I don't know what soon means as far as like if I could tell you how many years that is or whatever. But all of the things that we were told about the destiny of humanity, they're falling apart, guys. I had this big realization last night, and I know it's true. Like the doom and gloom prophecies, even in the Bible, let's just say, right? All the stuff in there. And I'm not saying anything negative about the Bible. If anything, I think the Bible is incredible. And yeah, there's been a lot of alterations done to it, and that's too bad. And I even know like professional Bible scholars who are devout, conventional Christians, good people, really good people, really smart. And they've studied the Bible for decades and the history of it. And they, yeah, it's, they've taken stuff out. They've changed things. Everybody knows that. But it's basically good. It's basically a very interesting book. Um, and there's a lot of things that the Bible says was going to happen that had have happened. <laughs> They've actually taken place. And you can make no mistake about that. Now, there's more stuff that the Bible says is going to happen. And what I've come to realize is I don't think any of that stuff's going to happen, at least not a lot of it. You know, it could. But guys, what I'm telling you is there has been a big timeline shift on this planet. So we were headed towards these nasty events, the chariots of fire coming down on us, destroying everything. A lot of people have said, yeah, that sounds like nuclear missiles, <laughs> right? Think of it like if you were living five or 6,000 years ago or 2,000 or however long ago they wrote that passage, how would you describe a, a, a nuclear warhead re-entering the atmosphere? A chariot of fire. It's a chariot, it's a vehicle that's on fire or a rocket taking off, right? What do you think they were talking about? And I'm sure you guys are gonna debate me in the comments because maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe it's something else that they were talking about, right? I don't know guys. So you, if you have a different opinion about that, that's cool. And I, I might even be interested to hear what you have to say about that. I don't wanna pick hairs over those little things. I'm trying to have, like a 30,000 foot view discussion about this and not even about the Bible in particular. I'm just using the Bible as an example. So, you know, I didn't mean to open up a big debate or offend anybody. If I did, I'm sorry um, about that. I'm, I'm just, my general topic that I'm trying to talk about with you today is timelines are shifting and all that stuff that was prophesized that's going to happen, it ain't going to happen. It's over. It's over, guys. The energy's here. It's done. It's done. New earth is here. It's done. Okay? Really amazing things are going to start happening on this planet. You're going to start seeing some big changes. And I'm already in my 40s, and I'm sitting here like, God, I wish I was born maybe a couple of years ago so I could see it, but maybe not. I mean, I'll reincarnate, and it'll be fine, and I've still got a lot of life left in this lifetime. I'm not even halfway through living my whole life yet. But You know, like, what's going to happen over the next hundred years? I really want to see it. It's going to be awesome. And it's not going to go the way that people have prophesied. It's not. We're changing timelines. We're changing timelines. We were going this way. 
and somewhere we shifted. We shifted, we were going this way. And then all of a sudden humanity went boom this way. We're going somewhere else, guys. That's good news. Hallelujah. You are running the race pop properly, you guys. Good job. Where are we going? Well, let me tell you something. It's not going to be the way things have always been. This system of things is dying. Make no mistake about that. If you see what appears to be calamity, like economic calamity, government breaking down, whatever it is, right? Things breaking down. That's what's happening. They're breaking down. They're decaying. And they're going to get replaced by the legitimate progenitors of Earth. Us! The people who run the system. I don't know what's going on with those guys for sure, guys. I've heard a lot of different theories that they've been replaced by holographic computer-generated images, some of them, and some of them are still lingering. I don't know if that is true. I do know that that technology does exist, and it's not even like conspiracy-level stuff. It's like you can go on YouTube and see how they just, they already have this tech, like you can do that. You can actually fake somebody on video and make it look real, and you can't tell the difference. Like that's how good conventional technology is. That's what I'm telling you. Conventional technology is that good, guys. That you, if you had $10,000, you could buy one of those things. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know those things can go on. I just don't know if they are going on, but it doesn't matter. Because their power, the, the people that run the system, it's, it's not there. It's not there, guys. Like, there's nothing they can do. The consciousness that Earth, Earth is moving through outer space, and wherever we are in the universe, the galaxy, or maybe it's like this part of the galaxy, it's moving into this like cloud of higher conscious energy. If you're an airplane flying through the sky and you start flying into a cloud, and let's say the cloud was, I don't know, I'm trying to make an analogy here off the top of my head. Um, let's say it was acid rain, a really, really nasty, toxic acid rain, right? And the airplane, you fly into the cloud or something takes over the airplane and you're, you have to go into the cloud. Like you don't have any choice. Well, what's going to happen is the plane is going to, you know, like disintegrate and everybody's going to die. <clears throat> now that's a negative that's kind of a nasty thing to have happen. That's why I don't really like that analogy. I wish I could think of something better, but I'm just trying to explain this to you. Like wherever we are in the universe or the galaxy, we're, we're moving into something positive. We're not moving into an acid rain cloud. That was just an analogy, but it's like that. Like it's over, it's done. We're moving into that cloud. And what are you going to do? There's no escaping. We are going in there into this higher consciousness. So what are these people, the, the controllers, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? <laughs> and when you look at the things that they're doing, it's so stupid. It's like, you know, I don't know. It's like a video game or something. It's like a, it's like a computer that just keeps running the same program over and over and over again because that's all it knows how to do. That's how they operate, guys. And I see what they're doing. It's so diabolical. And I've been watching these people for so long. You know what their MO is. You know what I mean? You know how they operate. And you can see them keep doing it. And all they know how to do is just keep doing the same stupid shit over and over again. And people aren't falling for it anymore, guys. It's over. It's over. It's over. They are finished. It's over. It's over. It's over. They're done. You can't keep running a program, which is a reaction in a giant universe-sized cloud of creation. They react, we create. 
So just keep going, guys. Don't worry about it. We are creating a bubble of new earth. You can do it right now in your own home. And you'll find that when you increase your consciousness bubble, say around your home or your, set, your circle of influence, your friends and family just around you, like you don't attract as many nasty things anymore. It's just like that. And if you do attract nasty things, it's probably because you're ignoring your ascension. If you can't go backwards, guys. I tried. It didn't work. And it caused a lot of suffering. And then I went, wait a minute, what am I doing, right? And it didn't last long. It was only a couple of months, thankfully, but it was tough, guys. It was rough. And I, when I came out the other end, I was like, oh, fuck, I know better than this. How stupid of me, right? And I went back into better habits and being energetically complete, right? And it didn't take but a couple of days for it to shift back the other way. You can't fight this, guys. If you do, there's going to be suffering. And that goes for planet Earth, too. That goes for the whole entire planet. So whatever these people are doing, it isn't going to work. And there's not going to be this big Armageddon. That's over, guys. That's not happening. It's over. There's no Armageddon. Okay? It's not going to happen. Period. It's time to clean all this shit up. Start taking care of each other. Live in peace and prosperity. Right? Sharing all the world's resources. And not by force. It's not going to be communism. Okay? It's not going to be like that. People are going to want to share. And they're going to be able to because there's going to be so much abundance overflowing everywhere. You know, I've said... I've said this before. <clears throat> Did you know that Eckhart Tolle is worth something like $70 million or something like that? And good, he should be. And you want to know something else? Everybody should have $70 million. And another thing, there's enough resources on earth for everybody to have $70 million. And I already see that shifting, guys. It's already happening. Don't you see? The controllers are not in control anymore. I, I got to think of another name for them. Okay? And by the way, if everybody had $70 million, and they should, and they could, well, what would happen? How, how many wars do you think there would be? How much disease and famine do you think there would be? Uh, zero. Abundance is your birthright, and so is love, and so is peace. So is having human connection. That's where this is going, guys. That's where this was going. And the whole having to be stuck in our homes for the last however long it's been, that backfired, <laughs> is what happens when you are forced into seclusion, into isolation into solitude you have nothing to do and you know what i did i just meditated and i know i'm not the only person so i guess that backfired guys this is it <clears throat> the tables have turned the shoe is on the other foot it's good news armageddon is over it's not it's not happening it's not happening see ya